We are live, right, Brittany? We are. It this says we're live right now. This is one of the great days of the year, for sure. This is, I think, the third time we've done this, Brittany. Yes. We're in advance of the Day of Giving, our seventh annual at SIU, where all, all our Salukis join together, mobilize, and do as much as they can to support their alma mater. It's just a truly great day. But the highlight, a week before, we bring on the unbelievably awesome beer group. We talk and have a hour here. We've got pom-poms. We've got, I don't think we've got shots here. It's too early. Uh, although our secret guest, though, I know he, we see him right now. He's not so secret, but we're going to talk about it. We got a beer can here from Jim. So I'm Matt Kupek, the Vice Chancellor for Development Alumni Relations here at the SIU. And, and what we've got a great panel. And Jim, I'm going to just go around the room and have everybody introduce themselves. So, Jim, I'm going to start, start with you. Oh, Jim, I don't think we can hear okay. you. Jim, we're having some technical problems there, but we just wanted to say that on air. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Jim is, I am sure it's just inspiring what Jim is saying right now. <laughs> For sure. But, uh, uh, again, Jim was one of the real originators of the beer group. And he's saying something that he's laughing about. He likes right now. Uh, <laughs> and we can't hear you. So we're going to go to John. John, if you would Hi there. a quick introduction. I'm John Patterson. I'm a 88 to 92 graduate. Uh, bachelor's degree in journalism and i'm joining you from the beautiful illinois state capitol great to be here go dogs john thanks for being here we'll go to deb hi i'm deb hartley class of 92 in zoology um i'm actually at work now at university of wisconsin madison so i'm a saluki in badgerland and i'm um, also on the homecoming committee so look forward to later this fall as well Hey, Deb, I think our football team's coming up there in a year or two. I think two years. Yeah, I think it's about time we have a Wisconsin alumni group. To take that, and we're going to take down the Badgers in football. So, oh, yeah, we can do uh, it. We can do like, it. We did that <laughs> Northwestern this past year. Big Ten, we're all over you. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go, uh, Deb. Thanks for being here. Francesca? Hi, I'm Francesca. I was a Beer Scholar recipient from a couple years ago. Um, I graduated last year, so I'm a graduate student here at SIU now. Awesome. And are we allowed to ask Dylan to speak or is uh, Dylan, go ahead. We can see you, so, so introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Dylan Chambers. I'm the president of the SIU Dog Pound. Dylan is also just turned 21. Uh, just for everybody out there, and we know the Saluki Nation is turning in, Dylan is the youngest alderman in the country, in the United States of America, uh, an alderman down in Metropolis. So there had been this, Dylan is the new Superman, we call him. <laughs> so uh, Dylan has done unbelievable things here. So, you know, the beer, the beer group is truly one of the great things of our university. And, and, and many of you know this, but Jim, we're gonna go back to you and talk if you would quickly about the founding of this incredible group. Jim, can you hear us? Brady, what do you think? Go on there. Jim, I'm afraid we don't have audio with you. So I'm not sure if there's a lag or it might be something with the Wi-Fi connection. Um, is it okay if I speak about, because I know a little bit about Jim and what they've, what he's done with the beer scholarship or Deb, do you want to speak? Well, let's that? talk about yeah, the creation first of the beer. Yeah, group. yeah. yeah I can do that. So, you know, it all started, the beer was a very grassroots situation on Facebook where Chris Will, uh, Craig Wilson created that in fall of 2018. And then it just lit up through word of mouth and networking, of course, through Facebook everybody piled on it. and i think currently we have over eighteen thousand alumni um from the in the 80s and 90s beer scholarship group on facebook so a lot of places to go not just siu alumni or foundation group etc you know go to the 80s and 90s group so um dan guideman had uh, a thought or an idea um to give back what way can we give back to the future of salukis and saluki pups 
And so a call out went out on Facebook for naming it, what we would do with it. And that's where Jim Raffensperger's comes in and came up with the name beer, which stands for balancing education, experience and reality. Um, never in the wildest dreams for Dan did he ever think that this would just launch the way it has and the, the camaraderie, the memories, everything that's coming together um, for the scholarship. So, um, again, at the Day of Giving, we all get in on board and get uh, highly motivated and razzled up. And Dan usually has a, a, um, a live stream or a live, a live kind of watch party for it um, to make sure we're checking all the numbers. Um, we have six scholarships that we currently have, and I think we're probably going to stay at the six and then just up our our uh, our contributions for those scholarships for juniors and seniors and stuff. So it's pretty easy, pretty easy scholarship to apply for. So, but SIU goes through those Carbondale 80s and 90s group does not. Um, but that's kind of a, a summation of it. And, um, you know, beer absolutely. Beer absolutely. Yeah, I love it, Deb. And it truly, you know, you, you gave us a great history there how quickly it organically evolved into the 18,000. I think you had 15,000 within about a week. Yeah, it was, it was, it was fast. It was fast. Yeah, it's 18.2, I think, thousand 18. right now. 18.2. So. 18.2. And John, just uh, just incredible. Then, as Deb says, to take that, just that engagement and, and sharing stories uh, within the, the Facebook group and now turning that into philanthropy. That's just pretty cool stuff. I think it all kind of hit us at the right time. Um, you know, like uh, I didn't know Deb in, in college and I've been able to connect with all these people that we all have similar stories and we all kind of recognize uh, we value our experience at SIU and we're at a time in our lives where we're like, OK, what can we do about this? Is there something constructive but not too organized that we can do? And uh, this has been fantastic to be part of. I Everywhere I go, I tell people about it. It is so cool, the, the, this energy and the spirit in the group. Uh, you know, there's a lot of pride amongst our Saluki Nation, 266,000 alumni. And we, we just appreciate what you guys are doing Thank to, you. to engage our alums, to make a difference. We're going to have fun doing it. And then, you know, the best part is the impact. So we've got Francesca with us. She is the recipient of one of the many beer scholarships. So Francesca... Tell us about uh, what that scholarship means to you in your education year. Well, I'm really glad to get to see some of you again. I met some of you at the um, homecoming tailgate, and it was lovely to meet people who just blessed me so much with that gift. Um, I, as, I was a geology and history major, and so as a geology major, you have to go to field camp, and it's about a $6,000 trip, and then you also can't work that summer. So um, I've been saving since a – a freshman to go there, but there's still a lot. It's it's hard to say for that. And so um, this gift helped me be able to afford that. And um, it was just lovely seeing you guys who had been in my shoes years before, some of you not too long before, but um, just reaching back and helping people like me that help pay for stuff like that. So um, it was just such a blessing. And, and what, I, year, what year are you now, Francesca? Um, I'm a first year graduate student, so okay. I'm I'm working on a master's in geophysics, and then I'm also working on a master's in history. Okay. Well, if you're looking for something new, come work with the foundation. We'd love to have you. Mel, <laughs> uh, no, you're on a great career path. Keep on it. We're proud of you. We're uh, you're doing great. And you know, one thing, Francesca, that's very cool. Uh, is that each year a day of giving, we give out uh, trophies and participation, dollars. And and I got to tell you, there's a dynasty that has been built here within beer that uh, you guys have dominated the trophy ceremony. Uh, it's uh, just a truly convincing style. But, but there is a challenge this year. And we have with us the challenger, the leader of the challenger group by the name of Dylan Chambers. So, Dylan, are you going after beer this year? Of course. Like, why not go for the best, you know? <laughs> that's right. The best. So, you said it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. If you want to be the best, go after it, you know? That's right. So, yes, so I, Dylan, that's of the, course, the dog pound is going after it, yes. Dylan, of course, leads the dog pounds. And uh, one time during the year, ESPN came up with, during the basketball season, 
the best top 20 uh, student sections in America. And we were ranked in the top 20. Uh, Dylan, uh, very close often to get technical fouls. <clears throat> John, I like that, that mask you had there, John. <clears throat> Dylan did not get a technical foul, but we think he might have instigated a little brouhaha after the Murray State game. But, uh, uh, but it, uh, it's just fun to see our students come out. Uh, support uh, men and women and all Saluki sports. It's just not just not the men's sports. The soccer, women's soccer, they've got a great in the end zone. They're right behind the goal. The the dog pounds there. But Dylan, how are you going to take on the giant here? Look, you know the, that's the the whole thing is is just about gifts. You know, like we want to make sure that we're uh, you know impacting the the community in ways that we can um, with you know trying to make sure that we get those things done. So. Um, so we're pretty excited about it. We're nervous, you know, because this is our, this is our second year and day of giving. We did great last year. Uh, but now we're after, we're after a trophy this year. So, uh, and I'm really competitive. So I, I really, you know, I think it's, uh, I think it's going to be a good shot this year. Dylan, we're not asking you to give it any way of your trade secrets or your approach here, but, uh, uh, uh you got the troops fired up. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. We're ready to go. I think, uh, I'm pretty confident that, you know, that we're going to have a really good year. Um, you know, I, and I hope that the video that we made did not make anybody really mad, <laughs> but, um, but I know we fired up the back end. So, uh, so I think, you know, on our, our end, I think it's going to be really fun. Hey, John and Deb and, and Jim, just so you know, uh, this year we have uh, introduced the ability to accept the uh, donations through Venmo. And uh, we think that's really going to help Dylan and his crowd. I've got four kids college age, and I know Venmo is very, very, very popular. So uh, <laughs> that might be a tool, Dylan, to help you go after the chance. Yeah, yeah. No, I really think you it's, already know I, about I got Venmo. The email We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is sending them the money? By Venmo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And what what money do they have? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was just gonna say, Dylan. A lot of your, a lot of your kids' parents are in our group, and they're gonna be supporting us, not you uh -oh. guys. So. <laughs> well, well, okay, okay. I mean, you know, I think it, it, it's great that we have, uh, you know, the, the ability to support one, but that way, I mean, why not support both? You know, and that, that's kind of where I look yeah. at it. Hey, Jim. Jim came out throwing punches there. He was on mute. <laughs> he got muted. Jim. He came out firing. Jim, it's so good to hear you. Yeah, well, get the get the technology fixed up. We'll we'll make it work. <laughs> and, and I and I do just want to remind everybody, it's called the beer trophy for a reason. So it's ours. We're keeping it. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. There's four four years oh, on there. Man. It ain't coming off. Yeah. And a, and a reminder, uh, yeah. beer beer does stand for what? So the beer uh, acronym actually stands for balancing education, experience, and reality. And that's what, what we believe that the scholarship was really all about. Our experience as, you know, when we were there at SIU, you know, the, the great experiences we had, not just in class, not just the education that we got, but everything that Carbondale and SIU had to offer and, uh, and Southern Illinois had to offer. And so the, you know, the education acts aspect of it and kind of buckling down and the reality, okay, once you're out and we're alumni, we want to give back to the community. And that's really what this beer scholarship is all about. So again, the acronym balancing education experience in reality, I think really meant a lot to a lot of people. And it kind of really, you know, uh, uh, drove home kind of that Saluki spirit and what being a Saluki is all about. Really cool. And again, uh, on the screen, you, you'll see, uh, uh, flashing car, uh, across the screen, uh, the ability to make a gift between March 28th. Uh, Day of Giving starts at 6 a.m. Central Time uh, and, and runs through March 29th, 6 a.m. Central Time. siuday.siu.edu backslash beer. Is that a little, uh, that, what's going on? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Dylan, <laughs> where, Dylan, where are your back, Where's backslash dog found at? That's what I, I want to know. I, 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 where is I, that Dylan, part? Uh, Dylan, this is an unfair advantage. <laughs> it's what happens when you're a pup. You just got to, you know, oh follow the lead, but you're still go. behind. You know, <laughs> old, old age, old age and, uh, and, uh, 
smarts will outwit uh, dogs and or young dogs anytime. So and, we and got it. Dylan, Dylan, take this all in. Come out fight. Hey, Francis. Oh, Francis, not to put you on the spot, but who who are you gonna who are you gonna root for on this? You going with the you going with the beer beer group or the dog pound? I have to say the beer group. I mean, yeah, oh, oh, oh. times they're clearly experienced. <laughs> Dylan, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I mean, it's okay. We'll send you it's some okay. more money, I mean, Francesca. It's like, it's like the thing is, if you if you give like you know fifty dollars, you can give twenty five to us and twenty five to them, and then we can try and keep it even. Maybe maybe we'll have a tie this year. You know, maybe oh, maybe we'll just talk. Oh. No. You've already reduced your expectations to a time. Dylan now. settling for John. Dylan, no, I'm not settling for time. No. I'm just saying, if that was to happen, I would rather have a tie than lose. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, John, what's going on in the Capitol? How are we doing up there? Another beautiful, busy day here in Springfield. Hey. I was going to say, hey, Dylan, you just turned 21, right? Oh, I did. Yes, yesterday. So, my observation would be is is that uh, challenging us was probably the first of many bad decisions you will make this year. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, my God. oh. oh big man. dog there, doing it like a big dog, John. Yeah, big good dog. job. Oh, look who joined. Oh, there's uh, Dan. Now we bring in the closer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't act like no one's ever been late for class. And so it's just like, it's just you missed the time. final. You missed you are, it. Yeah, I was... you are a full <laughs> professor, so we waited the right amount of time. Yeah, that's right. And we just had a we just had a couple of comments. The gang is ganging up on Dylan, and yep. shot fired. So Dan, <laughs> I, you're, you're well aware of this, but Dylan and the Dog Pound have challenged y'all this year, and he's coming out talking some smack already. Dan, I think Dan is. Uh, Dan might be. Yeah, over I dropped him back now. I'm sorry about that. Okay, there you go. Yep. So Dan, you heard dog pounds coming after you. I did. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. They're young, but we uh, they've got young, youthful energy. But we have you know crafty veteran skills. I think so. Uh, but it's it's nice to see the it's nice to see the students today. You know, with that much enthusiasm, it's really uh, it's really great. So um, uh, yeah, it's it's great to see them. Yeah. You know, it is a reminder that you, know, you all remember SIU in your days and it was spectacular and special. But our, for our students today, that, it's special and spectacular. You know, uh, uh, just uh, it's fun. Uh, you know, the parking lot South by Thomas Point, uh, Thompson Point, you know, I just uh, they were all packed. You know, just yeah, when I drove to work yesterday, it's fun to see that stuff. And Dylan, I think you can you can you can speak for all the students. It's a a uh, good thing going on down here in Carbondale, right? Got a lot of good stuff going on right now, you know. And I, I met I met a family last night, even in Paducah, whenever I was out to eat, and they turned around and recognized my face, and then asked me, and then talked about how good administration is right now, and how good things are moving, and then um, and then just you know about about the dog pound this past year, and said so they've been season ticket holders for twenty years, so. Um, you know, it was, it was just great kind of getting to see that. I mean, you know, anytime I go anywhere, I'm always wearing some type of maroon or, um, or something and very proud to wear it. So, um, whenever I always see other Salukis and stuff too, it, it just makes me feel really good just to know that I'm in the, you know, in the school that I want to be in and the community that we're at, that we have here. And speaking of gear, uh, uh, Dylan, Deb, you see that about yes, the, uh, 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 the hoodie? Yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, um, Ann will put that out there on the uh, Facebook, on 80s and 90s Facebook group. So um, Silkworm will um, come out every so often, quite often, actually, um, with some shirts. So you just have to check often. Um, this actually was my original thought um, last year at the ISU game, and um, Ann helped get this going. And so now you can buy this through through the silkworm and on the back of course it's got our our brand carbondale 80s and 90s group so right, right. it's quite the talking piece i'll have to say especially <laughs> up here in wisconsin <laughs> yeah oh yeah oh yeah the uh and john you're rocking a sport coat there i saw you got your saluki sport coat on got the maroon velvet out it's uh i'm telling you what it must be the oscars tonight <laughs> <laughs> it gets some attention 
We're uh, we will be. Uh, I think you'll see more and more of the sport coats like that. Uh, we'll, they'll be out. They're out there now, right, uh, Brittany? On the market. The SIU Alumni Association has a real nice one with the um, logo lining on the inside, and it is sharp. I know uh, Jeff Gleam, he usually wears that at our events, and I believe the Chancellor has been sporting it as well. Oh, yeah, it looks great. So, I Dan, say, thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I had a prior commitment. Uh, really important. <laughs> Very important. We'll leave it at that, right, Dan? <laughs> right, sure. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm uh, glad I could make it. Yeah. So, yep. No, Dan is, I do, Dan, do, I do believe you're overseas. Uh, I am. Yeah. I'm over. Yeah. I'm on, I, I teach at the university in Michigan and I'm on sabbatical this semester. Okay. And so I'm over in uh, Europe right now. Actually, my research project I'm doing, I, I teach, uh, we have a partner school and the students who go to this partner school actually get paid by businesses to go to school. Uh, so even while they're taking classes, they're still getting paid. So they work and, they get paid when they work and they get paid when they go to school. And so I'm trying to find out, you know, is there any way that that could, uh, that that could work here in the United States? Uh, and again, it kind of goes back to the whole idea of the scholarship. You know, we know that college is expensive. It's continuing to get more and more expensive. So what can we do to kind of help, help out students? So it kind of fits in with this whole theme a little bit. And I get to go skiing in Switzerland. So. And you get to go skiing. That's tough, tough gig. <laughs> yeah. No, thanks. Yeah. But that the impact is huge. And, and, and Jim, thinking as, again, uh, make a gift between the 28th at 6 a.m. Central Time and March 29th at 5.59 a.m. Central Time at siuday.siu.edu backslash dog pound. Hey, um, you've got spirit. How about you? <laughs> oh, I've got it. I've got the spirit. I've got the spirit. <laughs> hey, Jim, so with the day of giving next week, anything, anything special that the beer group uh, has got going on, or is there a lot of just uh, back and forth? Well, I, yeah, I, you know, I think we've been uh, uh, really pushing the, uh, the idea of the day of giving and, and, you know, that, that first year that we did this and, and seeing how many, just how many individual donations came out, you know, over a thousand individual donations that first year got us $50,000 in, in scholarship money that, you know, and that's, that's a really, really cool thing to see, you know, many hands make light work. And I will just say from my own personal experience here that the most rewarding thing that I've been able to do with this is actually meet some of the scholarship uh, recipients. I met the first two that uh, the first two uh, students that received it at the uh, foundation's dinner. It was fantastic getting to know them. Um, I went back to the dinner again this year and, and met two more people and just seeing the impact that this scholarship makes on individuals and, you know, Francesca, um, having you as part of this is is just a, you know a great experience and, and really rewarding to see it kind of flow and and really grow into something really really big and you know let's not stop here let's let's see if we yeah. can get another two scholarships out of this um, this past year is five students that got it so that I mean that is just a huge impact starting from Dan's just a thought a few years ago uh, so it's really really exciting um, so yes. Give to uh, uh, on the day of giving. Um, we will have, I'm sure, the Facebook page will be busy reminding people and posting screen prints of the dashboard and stuff like that. Um, so it, it should be a really fun day. Yeah, you know, the really good things are going on in terms of enrollment at our university. Uh, we're really looking at a very promising uh, first year class. Our retention rates are way up. Uh, uh, Chancellor Lane and the leadership team. Uh, Dylan mentioned them earlier, doing a phenomenal job. And and the support of, of, of the beer group, not only just the financial support, but it's, uh, I remember at our day giving celebration last couple of years, as we were presenting you all with all your trophies, you know, we would have admissions groups that would come by and it's very cool. They see, they see your involvement, you stick, you know, giving back, uh, staying engaged. That means a lot, right, Dylan? And Francesca, you know, you want to see that, that the alums feel really good about the school, that they continue to stay involved. So it's really, really appreciate all you do there. And, Matt, and I have a question here, actually, yeah. for Francesca. 
Um, so Jeff Wilson asks, many scholarships are funded by one donor, which is great, but I'm wondering what it's like knowing that thousands of people supported your scholarship, Francesca. Well, it means that thousands of people enjoyed their experience enough to go, I want to give back to somebody else. And so I think it makes it even more special than just having one person go, oh, I'd like to give this and I can give this whole thing. It means that even somebody who can't give a large amount can give a small amount and still help somebody. Yep. Yeah. yeah, great. Thank you. You know, it's just I love being on this uh, live stream uh, like this. What's it called? StreamYard? StreamYard, yeah. Um, you know, just a reminder to Brittany up who's with us. Brittany just all just got a big promotion. <laughs> so I want you to know to recognize Brittany does an incredible job. Uh, just uh, uh, she's a rock star. And during COVID, it's a reminder, you know, during COVID, uh, <clears throat> kind of the Saluki spirit. Uh, many did not have their days of giving, their day of giving universities. But Brittany came up with the idea of using this uh, StreamYard uh, technology. And we were the only university to do go live stream. Uh, now many have copied it, but that was Brittany's idea. And I feel like this is a reunion for us each and every year. You know, <laughs> Ann and Jim have been on it the whole time. And John and Deb, you know, then we get Francesca and Bill. It's so cool. And know the Saluki Nation out there is watching this, paying attention to it. So, Brittany, thanks for that, and thanks for you guys for making it work. It's uh, it's it's a we could stay on Brittany all day if you'd allow. <laughs> we, can, we can stay up to eight hours on here. Uh, I do want to add that I am a Saluki also. So I graduated from the School of Art and Design, and um, the best thing about being a Saluki is you're very resourceful. And whether it's through getting funding or finding solutions to problems, and that's what we like to do. Excellent. Way to go, Brittany. So, Dylan, you picking up any good pointers here? <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I think it's it just made me more excited about about next week. Uh, you know, I think it's it's going to be really cool to see about how much we're going to, you know, how much we could fundraise this year. Um, I mean, of course, it's something that really is supportive to the dog pound um because we use it in every in every form i mean if it's a bus trip or a t-shirt giveaway or something like that so um so any any type of donation is appreciative um to us and then we're going to make sure that we're going to give it right back to the students which is where it needs to go on numerous occasions dylan took a number of students for away basketball games to the other team's gym and our we were louder than the home team that's pretty cool nothing like that's the silky way you hear the SIU chants. We went, we had a game up at UIC this year, and it literally was all Saluki. It was embarrassing for UIC. Uh, and you could watch uh, it on TV and it gives you chills. I mean, it, you know, it, just kind of feeling it, that energy. It, yeah. it, and our chanter was sitting courtside with me at that game, and we just forgot their chanter was nearby, and we were screaming. Everybody was screaming. with so much fun. It, uh, and a lot of uh, 80s and 90s uh, folks were out at that game, too. And, and you know, again, just seeing you all in your gear, it's very cool stuff. And uh, uh, just, just you know, again, it's a reminder, Day of Giving is one of the university's great days. Make a gift. Start Tuesday, March 28th, early in the morning, 6 a.m. Dylan, let's get off to a quick start for the dog pound. Let's, let's go. you got, it's going to be tough to take the Giants down. But, uh, Dylan, let's get out to a good start. Uh, I think Dan probably, if he's still overseas, will somehow get – Dan Dan will be online. He'll be making his gift online. Right, Dan? I, I will, absolutely, yep. So, uh, yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. It is. It's one of the fun things that uh, – that we get to do. Uh, Dylan, I want to say a little bit too, one of the nice things, even though I don't live in the Carbonell area, is with ESPN Plus, I'm able to watch all the games. And so it's really fun to see you guys uh, see you guys do that. So. Matt, we have another question yeah. here from Robin um, Russell. Um, how can people donate any day, not just on the day of giving? Um, actually, I'll just say you can go to our main website. We have a giving form on there that is um, siuf.org backslash give. And there you can go and you can actually search out um, what area you want to support. Um, at SIU, so you can search for the Beer Scholarship, the Balancing Education Experience and Reality Scholarship, or you know if there's another area on campus you want to support, you can do that 
any time of the year. Um, we just really love the spirit we get to have during the day of giving when we all get to unite for one day. But please always support all year round. And Robin's right, Brittany. You know, it's, um, uh, uh, you know, you think about voting, early voting. We have early voting now. So yes. we, we uh, you can still, as, as Brittany said, go to the main web page and, and do it that way. It's, it's a bit cumbersome. Uh, and uh, uh, frankly, we're working with our vendor. This is the lab. We're going to have a different vendor next year that's going to allow us to have some early voting so Dylan and his gang can really get out to a good start. But uh, it's just, that was a great question. And again, you know, sometimes people just don't have access to get to make a gift during those 24 hours. So that's a great question. You can go to the website uh, Brittany mentioned. And, yes. and and again, it's uh, it's fun. We just watch that, you know, your, your phone, you just watch each uh, that the, the thermometer. It's not really a thermometer, but the counter keep going up, going up and, and uh, to see where you're all faring in terms of the gift. Deb, it's a great, just it's a fun, it's a fun day uh, yeah. to to. And again, I will I will. We bragged about uh, Brittany seven years ago. We were one of the first universities to start. Day of giving. Yeah. Um, my son goes to North Carolina State, and I just got a message from his chancellor today. They're having their fifth. So many schools followed. I'd say Purdue and SIU, and maybe one or two others. Uh, not Wisconsin and not Michigan, those Big Ten schools. But um, uh, you know, we're, so we were. So that's again another example of really good leadership, and and it's become such an important day. Yeah. Are you to change your vote yet? You still going with the uh, peer group? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a question here from Susan. She's asking, are there any day of giving photo frames to use on Facebook? I don't believe we do have one, but that's a great idea. And if time allows, we'll do our best to get one ready. And if not, we will make note of that for next year. Good idea. Great, great point. Any other, any other, you know, I, I know we're coming to an end here. Brittany, based on the time you gave us, but yeah. any, other, any additional comments or thoughts? Um, we have a lot of go beer. We love beer. Um, way to go, Dylan and the dog pound. So Ann Norris Price has given you a little support there. Patrick Hart right. said that the video made him mad and then he <laughs> added an LOL. So I think it's not as harsh as we think. Um, again, the beer hoodie and then, um, you know, the old dogs are ganging up on Dylan. <laughs> um, and then Ann I'm said, shots here. fired. <laughs> and so we have more um, beer and then go Salukis and a thumbs up sign from Susan about the um, photo frame. So it's always so nice to when everyone chimes in and leaves a comment during the live that we can share but we know you all are going to be watching this after the fact as well so continue supporting and making comments below um, because we really want to make sure that everyone feels that saluki and beer love today dan dan jim final thoughts or yeah i was just going to say you know it, part of this whole uh beer scholarship thing is is all of us who really really do love SIU and the time that we had there and really want to give back to it. So whether or not you give to the dog pound or really the important scholarship fund, which is, you know, the beer scholarship, it doesn't matter. Give back, have fun with it, but it's really giving back to the community and really giving back to SIU and for all of the great times and all of the important things that you got out of it. So uh, day of giving coming up, beer scholarship, go for it. Thank you, Jim. Dan? Yeah, the last thing I'll say is uh, to Dylan, and I mentioned this to Francesca when we met at homecoming back in the fall, is the, the scholarship is just a kind of a small part of what alumni can give to current students. And so I would encourage any student who might be listening to this live stream to, to utilize the alumni. There's so many of us in, in the vast, vast majority of us would like to help you in any way possible, whether it's making a small donation to a scholarship or you know, or a large donation to a scholarship or just given time, career advice, networking. So we have a, there's tens of thousands of alumni who want to help you. So I'd encourage all students to, to reach out to us and your faculty members, your, you know, there's people that can connect you. So you don't have to find us on your own, but uh, go through the university channels and they'll connect you with us. So I just wanted to mention that. Yeah. 
you know, is uh, you hear these great comments. As I watch TV and they bring guests on, you know, for a quick segment, I always wonder, man, are the guests always want more time on there, <laughs> you know? So I want to make sure we're, we're making everybody's got it, has had enough time on here because uh, we are talking about something so important and with such a reach and such an impact. Deb, John, any any closing thoughts? Um, I, I'm, I'm welcoming the challenge. I think we all are. This is a good, healthy challenge, and it's all going for the good. This is going to be a lot of fun next Tuesday. Um, we'll all be watching that ticker, I'm sure. Um, some of us old dogs can still stay up all night, so <laughs> watch back. <laughs> We'll make sure of it. We all, we all, you know, one of the things like John mentioned earlier too, is like, we never knew we've met a lot of good friends and created some bonds um, through, because of the Facebook, because of the day of giving um, homecoming, of course, which is going to be epic this year. Um, so, you know, it, it's really just about, you know, having that commonality with being a, a, a Saluki for life and Salukis are everywhere. They are. They are. John? Uh, I have. I'm the proud uh, owner of a. I supported the dog pound sticker. So from last year's day of giving, believe it or not. So uh, I go. I've got one of those. It's great. I should have brought it today. Um, I might even get another one this year. We'll after. Oh, after there we, we go. Well, after hey, we win. if you donate, if you donate, you're getting a card. You're get. You're getting a card. Uh, I go to a last lot of basketball. Cards. I go to a lot of basketball games, and it is great to uh, sit in the middle of the other team section and then see a whole group of SIU students show up and get a stand up and yell with them, yeah. whether it's Indiana State or especially at Illinois State. Uh, I've enjoyed getting to meet Dylan and uh, some of the other guys in the dog pound. So uh, I'm glad you're doing this. I look forward to beating you, yeah. but uh, <laughs> all in the name of Saluki yeah. Spirit. Yep. And, and John, that, that Illinois State game is a reminder. We, Unfortunately, we fell late at the, and lost that game. But there was a lot of SIU chance throughout that, right? In fact, we couldn't even find a lot of the, the student section at ISU. Uh, uh, but we certainly, Dylan, we had great. You guys turned out big there with our other alums in the, in the area. What has been your favorite uh, trip and game experience so far, Dylan? Uh I would say last year when we went to the Indiana State. After we went to Illinois State and beat them, then we decided to turn around and go to Indiana State and then beat them too. So uh, the dog pound, I think, was 3-0 and on the road whenever we went last year. And this year when we went to SLU, it didn't turn out our way. But um, then I went to Indiana State again, and it was good. And then Illinois State just kind of didn't fall our way either this past year. But those were good ones. I mean, the Illinois State one that we had this, this year was uh, – was just so impactful for, I mean, just us and all the alums that were there that just all chanting SIU. I mean, we were louder than the entire, uh, yeah. the entire arena. So yeah. Um, yeah. kind of hearing that it makes it feel like a home game, you know, and like makes yeah. you kind of feel like we're there. So, um, yeah. you know, focus are everywhere. Like yeah, John and I were so. there. We were, we were there too. It was yeah. awesome. It was awesome yeah. just to hear yeah. everybody. A fun environment. Well, again, next but, Tuesday is the day of giving. The seventh annual. Uh, we have starts Tuesday, 6 a.m. Central Time. Uh, it ends uh, the following morning at 6 a.m. Uh, and SIU Day. SIU. Edu. Backslash Beer. Dylan, sorry. Uh, I have to put one last plug in. But uh, you guys have been awesome. Uh, you are awesome. We truly appreciate all you do for our university to support Francesca, Dylan, and so many others. And and uh, you know all we can say is go dogs, go dogs, go, go, beer. go dogs, go dog drink beer. I mean, and whatever we do, beer. <laughs> um, Matt, before we go, can we have um, Francesca make a comment since she is the um, has received the generosity of the beer group? I'll let you do the last plea on why someone should support the beer scholarship. All right. Um, well, I'm from the Carbondale area and so i grew up watching siu and seeing the impact siu made on the community siu is what keeps the entire southern illinois region alive um siu professors siu students and siu alumni have been involved in um, the community as long as i can remember i remember going to music festivals that siu professors and students would take the time to come play at i remember going to science events that these students would take and professors take the time to um try and teach you something. And SIU has always been about giving back to the community. And um, 
a scholarship like this is a way that even if you're away from the university, you can still give back and help continue that um, giving back to the community. Well said, yeah. Francesca. Well you. said. Thank you all. Have a great day. Next Tuesday, let's go, dogs. Go, dogs. Let's have a big go one. Dogs. Go, dogs. Go, dogs. Beer, beer, beer. beer. <laughs>